And welcome back everyone to another Hot Toys review and this time we're going to be reviewing the first vehicle on this channel. We're going to be reviewing the Bat Pod from the Dark Knight Rises. So this is one of the only Hot Toys vehicles that I have so far. I plan to get a few more. Uh, speaking of the DeLorean from Back to the Future, it's something I'm really looking forward to. Um, so yeah, just starting off this review. As you can see, you have some nice box art on the top of the box. Downtown Gotham and the ashes and the rain. And... Basically looking like the final battle from the Dark Knight Rises between Bane and Batman. Now I already have the vehicle out of the box, but this is what it looks like inside the box. You have some, you open this part up, the handle, and you have some foam padding there to hold it in place. And here you have the bat pod itself, and as you can see, compared to my hands, this is a massive, massive piece. Um, I almost said figure, I just taught myself. This is a vehicle uh, built for one six scale Hot Toys figures, like the Batman figure, which I will demonstrate later on in this video. See the wheels do turn, so you can get some cool momentum there. I know it's not an RC car, it doesn't have a motor, but it's still really cool that the wheels are actually functioning and they turn fairly well. And the structure itself is quite nicely done. In terms of the framework, it has a pretty solid frame. It doesn't feel like it's fragile as you would expect with the price that you're paying for this. You have plastic pieces, we have wires that are loose and that you can move around. You have tubing that you can kind of move a little bit. Not much of it is really articulated. It's all fixed in one spot. The pistons don't move or anything like that. The only parts that you can really move are these handles here. About in about this much and out about that much. And you can't turn them. So you can't move any of these pieces. Although, it's interesting, I just realized, you can move the brake pieces. So as you can see here, you can actually move these brake pieces slightly, which is a really cool detail that I didn't even realize until now. And you can do that on either side, so you can move those. Now the pieces that you have to actually secure onto this vehicle, this piece right here, I had to glue it on to make it stay or else it would come off. So for some reason, for whatever reason, mine did not want to secure itself on there in the right way. This one's actually coming off. So that's kind of a, a negative for me. Uh, the fact that it's just not wanting to stay on, that's when it's supposed to, you know, that's kind of a, yeah, that's kind of a negative. And the other pieces that you have to actually attach onto this vehicle are both of these handle pieces right here. So you have to fix them onto this piece right here and they attach at this point and they stay on pretty securely. I didn't have a problem with those, but like I said, I did have a problem attaching these small pieces and they are starting to come off already with the glue that I tried to use to attach them on there. So that's really unfortunate. And the battery compartment is in the seat of the vehicle. So what you would do, pop this off like so. It has a cool wire underneath, which if you think about it, they didn't even have to put that on because you can't see it most of the time. But it's a really nice feature just to sell it even more. You have the screw, which you undo this whole compartment right here to install the batteries. There's no details on the inside of this. But you just pop that back on. And then the switch to turn on the lights for this vehicle is on the back. You switch that on. And then you have the lights. Which are actually surprisingly pretty bright. I can actually use this thing as a flashlight. And so not quite easy to tell on camera, but like I said, this can light up an area quite well. I think they get the job done. I think it's a really nice bonus feature that comes with this vehicle accessory. And those are the only lights that light up on the vehicle. So here's a side view. And then you just switch the lights off like so. So let's get a closer look at all the details. So as you can see, the tires have quite a bit of wear and tear on them. They're not just solid black rubber tires. They actually have dirt and grime effects, which I think is a really nice touch. I'm glad that Hot Toys went the extra mile, no pun intended, and actually added just the various grit and dirt details on each of these pieces, not just the tires, but on here as well to really sell the fact that this is supposed to be made of metal. And you can also see that there's this, this is actually a spring 
on here to represent, I guess, like a tube or something or some part of the vehicle. You have piston effects here, which are just sculpted pieces. And then you continue onward. Places his foot on the back pedal, it looks like. So I believe this might be the accelerator for the vehicle or the brakes. I'm not sure. Yeah, it has a really uh, cool look to it. I imagine this is all accurate to the movie. You have more tubing here and wires, then go up. You have a back section here. So as you can see, you have a lot of various tubes and wires that just go up this back section of the vehicle. And then more tubing and wires. You have where his knees would go on these two parts right here. And there is a little bit of weathering ever so subtle and just more engine I guess details and sections and stuff like that and then here's the other back pedal well there's no pedal here it's just where he rests his foot so I'm assuming this is the accelerator um, but yeah that's where you would put the other foot and you have this clamp here which is new to this 2.0 version which is this is the 2.0 by the way the 1.0 was released some time ago and it's got skyrocketed in price Although it's gone down ever since this one's been released. But this is meant to hold the EMP gun that Batman uses in The Dark Knight Rises, which I don't have, so... But yeah, there's... As you can see, there's more intricate details back here. And about the same amount of details on this side. This might be a brake of some sort, I'm guessing. I could be wrong. I don't know much about vehicles. Um, and then on the underside... You just have the same tubes basically that you can see on the top. Now you can see some glue here because I actually had to glue this back on and broke. It's basically when I opened it up and was taking out, this was breaking off. So unfortunately I had to glue that back on. So I would say just be careful with this. This part is a metal frame that's screwed onto the plastic here. This is another metal section with the articulated parts for these, which is also screwed on. And more hydraulics and various details on the underside. So at the top view you can see the seat that Batman rests on which is not a foam material it's just sculpted plastic and you have a metallic look here for the hood I guess you could call it. The handlebars handlebars or handles I guess. Uh, you have wires and stuff like that. Just different details. Even de some details on the inside. You have the handle grips with the brakes that are articulated and wires that all move around as you move these in or out. You have a small wire right here as well and what looks like some type of turning knob. And on this side it's actually a different design. You have more wires and just some hydraulics and different engine details I suppose. That continue on and the side view so yeah just the guns and weapons and grappling hooks and stuff like that unfortunately grappling hooks are not articulated they don't come out or anything like that they're just sculpted to made uh, to look like they do that would have been a nice bonus though if you could exchange these out or have these uh, blade pieces or hook pieces come out and in that'd be really cool and of course you have the lights right here just different hydraulics and stuff like that the guns, I'm assuming, right here. On the other side, slightly different. Because on this side, you have what looks like some type of uh, tank for something. I, I'm not sure what. Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, just different details. So you also have these two red pieces that you can use to make the wheels uh, stop. So for this piece, this red piece right here that looks like a tack, uh, you basically pin it in this hole right here. And you line it up with the wheel and then you cannot turn the wheel anymore. For this wheel is a bit trickier. You have a hole on the bottom of the gun section here. So you take this long triangle looking piece and that's where this part would go in. But first you have to actually find the hole in the wheel on the inside of the wheel and then you peg that in and then you place this in the hole right here and then this wheel shouldn't turn anymore. So you have to make it a little bit more secure, I guess. But... And then once you have both of those in, 
The wheels should not turn anymore, it should be locked in place, so then you can display it safely. Another cool thing about this uh, Hot Toys vehicle is that you actually come with the, you know you come with the instructions, but it actually could be a poster because you have a really nice art print on the other side of the city of Gotham in ruins. So it's a really cool poster that you could just hang up or frame or however you want to do it. So to place your Batman figure on this vehicle, this is actually the Batman figure from the Armory. What you do is you want to bend the knees forward as much as possible um, and then do the splits and then basically you just place them on here. You're trying to line his feet up with these back pedals here and it's a bit tricky so you're kind of laying them on there and then adjusting as you go the back of the feet hit the back section basically the back of these uh, I guess I'll call this column pedals and so you kind of have to mess with it a lot to get them on there it's a bit tricky but it's kind of like just laying face forward on there and then you adjust his arms onto the handlebars and then his head and then you kind of get to where it kind of looks like he's looking natural on the bat pod not always going to be perfect but you can get it pretty close but yeah like i said you just have to keep messing with it until you get it right and you probably want to put like a balance or something to keep it from falling over because it will with the weight of batman on there so in terms of my overall thoughts about this uh, hot toys vehicle um, this is the only Hot Toys vehicle that I have. This is the first one I've ever gotten. And I have to say, uh, I'm kind of blown away by the size. I actually expected this to be a quarter smaller. Um, when I first brought it out of the box and then compared it to the figure, you know, I was just shocked about how much space it took up on the table or even just a doorway. You know, so I think that's what blew me away the most when I first, you know, interacted with this vehicle was just the sheer size of it. The details are also very impressive. I mean, there's details where you wouldn't expect there to be details. Um, there's articulation in the brakes that you wouldn't expect. So that's just kind of transitions nicely into the positives. I think the positives are, you know, it has a sturdy frame. It doesn't feel fragile, like it's gonna break. Although a few parts did break on me. Um, as long as you're careful with it, it's pretty solid. I like how the wheels turn. That's definitely a positive. I like how it also comes with uh, two red brakes that you can insert into the wheels to make them not turn for display reasons so that way it won't roll off the table. Um, I like all the intricate details with the various tubes and wires and springs and articulation like I said before. I think that's a nice touch and the fact that it lights up is a huge bonus. Um, the weathering, the slight weathering on the tires and different parts of the metal pieces is really nice. Definitely a positive. Um, other than that, those are the main positives for me. Uh, in terms of negatives, it is a bit fragile on certain areas. I think it's unfortunate that I actually had to glue those two small pieces on the handlebars. I feel like you shouldn't have to do that with this kind of price. Uh, maybe some better engineering or design work or something like that to make it a little bit easier on that part. And just it's unfortunate that the bottom part was fragile enough to break off where I had to glue that back on. So that's definitely a negative for me. You know, I feel like it shouldn't break when you're just taking it out of the box and interacting with it and not being rough with it. So that's, yeah, that's kind of a big uh, negative that I can't ignore. Um, and in terms of that, I can't really think of anything else. Uh, you probably can predict what I'm going to say. It would be kind of cool if there were some more die cast pieces on this. Just because it's a vehicle and it's, I mean, it's a metal vehicle. What do you, you know, like most, there's so many die cast vehicles out there that are not hot toys. I just feel like. You know, Hot Toys is such a great company and they make such great products. I wouldn't expect anything less than die cast. Um, there is some metal parts on some of the frame, but I just feel like, uh, you know, they could there could have been some more die cast, you know. I say that a lot, but for this one in particular, since it's a vehicle, it's not a figure, so it's, it'd be far easier to do die cast on this. So I just say, why not? Go for it. Go all the way. Um, so if they ever did a 3.0, make it all die cast or at least as much as you can. I think that'd be amazing. Um, but other than that, I can't really think of anything else. Overall, I like this. I don't regret buying it. I think it's a really awesome centerpiece that draws attention to it. And yeah, I would highly recommend it. So let me know your thoughts below. I want to hear your opinion. Tell me in the comments below and until the next video.